Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Samus Returns. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. I love that baby Metroid came into the save station with you. Well, well yeah, just, just, just hanging around. Just hanging out, just being a bro. Well, now we begin the saga of backtracking. I, ho I, I hope you're prepared. Well, as long as we have plenty of rock candy for our kid. Oh, we'll have plenty, certainly. So, starting out, uh, we're gonna do things here at the surface. You can, uh, see there in the, you know, up there, uh, the, uh, percentage of the items we have. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so, you know, you can tell when you got 100%. So, we'll start things by going over here. I'm so happy that the teleporters take you to different areas in your area, if yeah. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Though it's in, in any area, really. That's also nice. I'm glad Baby Metroid was able to teleport with us too. It just kind of feels like a, you know, one of those uh, modern enhancements, quality of life that you get from uh, being, you know, be being such an old series. <laughs> All this, this old dog has to learn new tricks at some point. <laughs> I like how you know they're, they're they're slowly but surely trying to change the formula a little bit. Ever so slightly. Yeah. That's that's why the gameplay is so different here, with the, with the free aim and the melee counter and the nightmarish difficulty. <laughs> so, I had a... I had a thought about this. Yeah. And it's about the, the changing of the guard, as I've come to call it. Uh-huh. You know how all the old dogs getting up there in age, and, you know, they're starting to pass on projects to younger developers? It's, it's just the passage of time. Yep. And I was just wondering this morning, I was like, so what happens when the new people start making games that we like more than ha than the old way? Then we're in good hands. Will we look fondly on the old times, or will we just be like, oh, wow, how, how did I like this? I think it depends on the person. Okay. I mean, Metroid Fusion is, you know, what, over 20 years old or something like that? Oh, God, don't say that out loud. At least and 18. Y and yet, I still look back on it, you know, pretty dang fondly. I suppose if the game was made correctly the first time, we don't, don't have to really worry about having hindsight. I mean, just because the guard changes and they and they uh, make improvements to the formula doesn't mean that the old stuff is automatically bad now. Well, I know that. It's just uh, w when we reach a point of a new evolution, let's say that. Because, uh... New Super Mario Bros. 2 was the first time they brought in a new team with fresh ideas. Yeah, and I, I love New Super Mario Bros. 2. That doesn't mean I automatically hate Super Mario World. That doesn't mean that, oh, I love this now, I gotta not like that now. This is too new. I like new. Old, go away. <laughs> yeah, I find I'm the opposite. Uh, this is too new. Old, come back. New, go away. <laughs> Boomers hate me. You know, just, you know, people have to be, uh, you know, open to change. Mm hmm And people need to, you know, not stray too far from the original, I guess. It's, it's, it's that old Nintendo adage. Something new, yet something familiar. That's what I'm hoping for, for the future of all these different franchises. Well, sometimes franchises will just wither and die. And then, new people, any developers, who liked that game from back then was like, well, now it sucks, so I'm gonna make a game that is like that, and people will love it. So we're done with the items here, but it's only 85.7%. We'll get the rest when we uh, get to the, uh, you know, when we're about to leave. You know how there hasn't been an F Zero in a good heckin' long time? Yeah. I recently watched a video that explained there was almost a new one during the Wii U era. Mm hmm. I think it was... Oh, I don't remember the company, but they made Burnout, I believe. It, it, it just didn't go through. It just didn't work. Nope. I think that's that's what that, that's happens with all these games. You know, just that, you know, with Nintendo, they have a, you know, a higher standard of quality than, say, Activision or Ubisoft or whatever. <laughs> salt, salt, shade, shade. <laughs> Sunglasses on. So whenever something doesn't work, they go, well, we can't do this, and then they scrap it. Or they take what they did from that and move it to something else. Well, I also realized that uh, sometimes it's a time frame thing. 
like when the Wii U came out, since it was it wasn't done the best, they were kind of like, hey, we need to pump out games for this right now to get people buying this thing. So it was almost like a panic mode, <laughs> which is why they pitched an idea to a company that I don't think has ever worked on one of the big Nintendo franchises. And when they couldn't do it, i.e., you know, too much on the plate right now, we already have projects going, they're like, well, well screw it then. We won't go with that, we'll go with something else. I don't know if it's quite, you know, yeah, screw it, we'll do something else. It's just, I, I don't think those decisions are taken lightly. What, to scrap something? Just to scrap, like, I don't think they go, ah, screw it, let's just move on. Well, it's like, no, I, it's like, I think they go, uh, this isn't working, we gotta start over. Well, I know they're definitely not, like, glib about it. I mean, I mean, why do you think the Project Hammer was in development hell for so long, and then only, like, three years later did they decide to cancel it? Well, that's the other thing with, like, Prime 4. I, I have to think they got to a point where, like, this isn't working. And then they make that difficult sigh and go, Well... We either scrap it or we redo it from the beginning. I, I gotta know why they scrapped it, though. Like, do you, do you want to see the original design docs? <laughs> like, like maybe it's something as simple as, uh, oh, we're going in a different direction, and uh, these guys are uh, aren't uh, you know up to the level of quality that we expect, so we're going to go with the old dudes. Or maybe the story beats in Metroid Dread have you know kind of changed how the game, how uh, the original Prime Four was going to go, so now we're. Shifting into something else. Maybe it's not even going to be Prime 4. Maybe it's going to be, like, you know, a, a new sub-series. Well, that's also what intrigues me about whatever the original Prime 4 could have been. It, what the? Oh, wow. How do I get... Oh, I gotta... Do I have to... Maybe with the... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. There. Boom. And then, time shift. Mm -hmm. Made easier because we got the Metroid. Boom. And there we go. Does the Metroid make it easier? Oh, for un unblocking the way. Yeah, there, uh, there, are, there are some items that you can only get with the baby Metroid, and then there's some items that are easier to get with the baby Metroid and the power bomb. See, I thought baby Metroid was like feeding you Aeon. It's like, here, mom, <laughs> here's what I got from the rock candy. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> I assume. Uh, good. Uh, well, can can we really assign something like that to the? Uh, a space brain sucker, I guess. I don't know if they have a gender or not. They might not. I mean, there is a Queen Metroid, so... Well, I think Queen is just a title. Like it is in real life. It doesn't really mean or, or anything. Or just, 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 just like a name, like a Queen Bee is yeah. probably not actually a female bee. I don't know. No, it's just... Higher ranking. Like, I am the highest rank of Metroids. But it's a queen, though. I mean, it's not like it was given that title by, by royal decree. It's, it's, it's the one that lays all the eggs. It's the queen. Like the queen bee, the queen ants, the queen... Uh, yes, queen. Yeah, yeah, yas queen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate puzzles like this. The, the breakaway blocks, they're killing me in dread. <laughs> I hate those puzzles. Because <laughs> I see what they want me to do, and my first instinct is, how about no? What if I did something different that's better and more fun? I'm loving how much people are speedrunning and finding all these exploits and skips and all that. This is this is a brilliant speed game. Yeah, it's 100% for Area 1. Alright, moving on. Off to the next adventure. Off to the next area. Venture. Off to the original place we were already at, but more adventure. When I was doing this on hard mode, it was really nice to come back and take everything down easily in these areas. Because these are like weaker enemies and you have a much stronger uh, arsenal now. So you, you're like, you're blasting through these enemies like nothing. It's like a young wimpy kid comes back as a Chad and just beats up all of his bullies. You know, all of the enemies on this planet. It's like, sup bitches, I got the plasma beam now. Y'all are doomed. You still get wedgied, but hey, at least you got your dignity back for, you know, a small bit. Yeah, you may get wedgied, but you got a jockstrap, so it doesn't hurt as bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came prepared! <laughs> ah! Stupid nerd. I attached a... <laughs> I attached a, a, a hand-powered engine to my underwear, so when they uh, do the wedgies, it charges my batteries! My phone's fully charged now! 
Hey, nice pants, Poindexter. Now I can show my welts on Instagram. <laughs> it automatically uploads the photos. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> That's a guy who's got no shame. <laughs> hey, do you think if Samus had a regular life, she would have been like a nerdy kid? That's why she likes all this tech and everything. Hmm. I don't know if the tech is, you know, from her own interest, or oh, if it, it's, it's just what the Chozo put into her. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it's like, even if she had, you know, stereotypical glasses and was working in a lab... What are you saying? About people with glasses, huh? I'm saying I respect them as much as anybody else. Okay, good. Well, slightly more, because, you know, you're currently in the room. <laughs> he's, he's brandishing a weapon now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take a picture. <laughs> Auto-upload, just in case I never come back. It's wedgie time, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, like, of... Uh, you, you get this girl in action movie, and all of a sudden, you know, she's Omega Badass. There it is. But she still has the ability to love the chemistry. And then she cooks methamphetamines. Yeah, why? I don't know. For the Metroids, because the Metroids will eat the methamphetamine, mm -hmm. and then... Ah, oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. after all, Metroids are weak to ice. Or is that crack? I don't know. What the... No, it's ice. Okay. Crystal. Crystal. All right. See, he's eating crystal! So not exactly, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't use meth. I don't uh, n know the lingo. It's the green meth. It's time to cook, Beauty J. <laughs> it's time to cook. The green meth? I mean, I think that's what color those crystals are. What do you use? Uh, fucking chilies? <laughs> Chili Rel powder. It's relish? my calling card. <laughs> oh, ooh, relish meth. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a good thing these crazy Metroids will take anything they can get their hands on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, okay. All right, I see what I gotta do there. Yep, yep, yep. yep that's see, that's, uh, that's a don't you dare screw attack one. Mm -hmm. It's a bomb. 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 Single bomb. Towards the right there, there ideally, go. so you can get that one. And there you go, Super Missile Tank acquired! So you can probably tell what I've been watching in preparation to finally watch Better Call Saul. Breaking Bad, I assume? Oh, yeah. Then he, you still haven't seen Better Call Saul yet. I needed a refresher. To make sure it's, I knew all the It takes place before oh, well, the no. series, so you don't need a refresher. Oh, shit, I wish I would've known that earlier. I don't know, Breaking Bad's still good television, so I'll watch it any time of the day. I'm almost finished with it again, I started it last week. It, if that well, tells you anything. Would you believe that Better Call Saul is just, like, one sheet of paper better than Breaking Bad? I've heard that. I've heard that from you. It is really good. I'm all for good TV. It's a, it's a different kind of drama, though, I think. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yeah. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. I hope so, because if I don't, I'm gonna give you a turbo wedgie, nerd. Duh. <laughs> well, I, oh, I think my underwear will be safe. <laughs> God damn it! What if I go commando? How do you wedgie someone if, if they go commando? Very carefully. By the pubes. Uh, oh, that's even worse. Mm. What if they manscape? Oh. Uh, well, then you just push them down in a flight of stairs. Well, then you just uh, hook one end of their ball sack to one end, and then the other end to a flagpole. You, you need just... to stop. <laughs> We're not into medieval torture for these bullies, please. It's, it's just CBT, that's all. Oh, that's what all the kids are into, right? It's the act of torturing a man's genitalia. For sexual pleasure. Hmm, thanks, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. <laughs> it just reminds me of a stupid meme I saw of G-Man from Half-Life saying, Cock and ball torture. Cock and ball torture. The free man must have... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, I Get hate me it. my sledgehammer. God, Samus, stop this. I know you're not into this, obviously. Of course not. She doesn't have a cock and ball to torture. <laughs> Don't say this around the baby. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. There are, there are children present. <laughs> see, baby Metroid comes up and just says, Fuck! It's, oh, no. Samus is gonna kill us. Do you think there are any educational programming from Baby Metroids? 
Like a preschool or? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I don't know, you could probably put on Coco Melon and the, the Metro would probably take mm -hmm. that. Eat it up. You ever seen Coco Melon? No. C Coco Melon is this, uh, kids show type deal. It's, it's like CGI, you know, little cartoon characters. And they sing songs. It's like a sing-along type deal. Mm-hmm. For some reason, it is always on the top ten in Netflix. It has been like that for, like, almost a year or two. I think, I think I got your answer. Even when new shows come out, this one is always... And it is bafflingly horrible. I think I got your answer. Like, they're sending this toddler, this two-year-old, to preschool! <laughs> the first song is about, you know, you're, you're about, oh, it's our, it's our first day of school, and I'm feeling nervous, but this, this kid's like, he, he's, he doesn't even have all his teeth in yet, he's like two years old, he's going to fucking kindergarten? What the hell? How much do you know about algorithms? And whatever the algorithm wants me to know. I am a robot. What would you like me to know, algorithm? Ah, there it is. Yeah, I think I have your answer on why it's still in the top of Netflix. So, algorithms are interesting in that the more you watch something, the more it will suggest something to you. That makes sense. YouTube's been using their major algorithm for years. But what I found out is... If you have a kid just randomly clicking on things, or, you know, having it move on to the next video, not in a playlist exactly, but auto-playing, you can have some of the strangest shit have millions upon millions of views for no reason whatsoever, except for, you know, kids just randomly being plopped in front of a laptop and, and being said, hey, be quiet and I'll let you watch this thing. Well, at least Coco Melon isn't as bad as uh, some of the YouTube kid shit you see. You know what finger family videos are? Um, no. I, I have heard of them, but I have not seen one, and I don't think I ever will. That's a good example of kids randomly clicking. Because finger family videos have millions of views. We're talking tens to the twenty millions. Is it just some guy, like, you know, it's like, oh, hey, he's just playing with his hands, like, you know, no. hey, everybody's going on, I'm gonna go to the store today. Just imagine a kid's nursery rhyme in bad English. Done <laughs> oh, with, no! Done with extremely poor CGI. Oh, no. And, you know, if we want... If we want a different version, we just change up the song slightly and put in a new animation. There was one for PewDiePie, for God's sake. Oh, come on. Against his will. <laughs> he didn't even want it. Well, hey, you can sing about us. <laughs> We're getting subscribers from where? <laughs> the hell's a finger family? None of my things are for kids, though! <laughs> I hate kids! Actually, yeah, what would you rate us? What would I, what I, I rate mean, us? besides the fact that we talked about CBT in a Metroid game. Like, what, on what rating system? MPAA, ESRB, Peggy, Sarah? Uh, let's do... Let's do movie ratings, but also ESRB. Because you can, you can be a little more lax with ESRB. I would say hard R and M. Pretty easy. Yeah. Why do I say R? Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, there you go. R automatic R. I would love it if you just bleeped out yourself. <laughs> that way people are speculating, what the hell did he say? <laughs> Alright, this one's mean. This, uh... This Let me guess. Bomb? You just do a power bomb and there you go. Oh, what?! Because there is a there, there's a bomb block underneath that you can't get to because, you know, of, of that fan. But if you have a power bomb, you can just skip the whole thing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one legitimately. That's how you do it. Okay. Well, it also has the fan, so that's probably why you're not able to get Ex to it well. Exactly. Mm, that is kind of mean. I call it clever, though. It is clever. I like mean and clever. I don't like mean and mean. Hey, you know one of the developers was just rubbing his hands together going... <laughs> Some of these shine-sparking puzzles in Dread, those were mean but clever. Fuck off with those. I, lo oh, I love them. I don't like them. See, me, me uh, kind of enjoying hard games like that. Not, not difficult, teeth-grindingly, you know, hard games, but, you know... A, ch a challenge! That's 100%, by the way. So, now on to Area 3. Excellent. I think Metroid Dread just gave me the, 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 the perfect challenge. 
Not too easy, a little on the mean side, so it feels all, all that much better when you finally beat it. Going back to ratings, I try to adjust the way I speak based on what game is being played. Like, if it's e an E-rated game, I might let, like, one curse word slip by. Oh, I thought it'd be like, you know, if it's an, if it's an M-rated game, clean all the way. If it's an E-rated game, fuck, fuck, shit, titty, bitch, bitch, fuck, fuck. Well, this is where I kind of go off the rails, because Puyo Puyo Tetris, I've had some of the worst language <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, wow, really? It's just like, oh, fucking come on! <laughs> it gets mean, man. It, it, it does. And then, of course, when I'm trying to, you know... <laughs> when I'm trying to make the funnies happen, uh, sometimes you need to let a fuck in there. Just one. Like in real life. Mm -hmm. Just one good, solid fuck. <laughs> and it does it. A good fuck. A good, hearty, solid fuck. That can't be your episode title, can it? No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid not. Bunch of spoil sports and algorithm junkies. I mean, unless if I put like you know, uh, you know, some weird letters to make to you know, like <laughs> put good, good, good long hard F at sign exclamation mark uh, number sign. Yeah. And this is where we use the Zalgo text. So here's another uh, puzzle that's easier because of the Metroid. Because we can just have the me the baby Metroid eat all these rocks, and th well, once it fi over here. Yo! Hey! 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 Oh, there you are. Great. Let's take this baby to the Metroid doctor and find out he has ADHD. That easy. How do you do that normally? Just a lot of ball jumping, it's, spider ball. Yeah, ball jumping. A couple of there's a couple of those uh, things you need the rapid fire to kill. I think yeah. right, like, right there. A couple of hidden bomb blocks, I'm sure, made easier with the power bomb. Well, but, thank you, the baby. But that's why I'm doing all this backtracking now, because we have everything we need, so we don't need to go, Oh, I guess I gotta come back again! Right. I have I'll a special miss. request for your audience. Okay. I need... Whoever is good at Photoshop out there in YouTube land, I need you to make a Photoshop of the baby as the baby Metroid. Oh no. <laughs> Give him the teeth. Uh the baby has a big old grin on his face. Give that to the baby Metroid and then we'll talk. The baby. <laughs> Samus, I didn't know you were into rap. Well who knows what she does on her downtime? We, like we never really see her much on her downtime. <laughs> I can actually see her up in her ship, just head bobbing to hamster dance. <laughs> Why hamster dance? It's the first thing that came to my head, okay? <laughs> just run with it. Maybe she's a memer. Maybe she likes Eurobeat. Nyan cat all the way. So what's what's the latest meme song right now? Uh, well, one of the big ones that came out of. 2020 was the Coffin Dance. Coffin Dance, yeah. Coffin Dance is pretty good. I don't know, I really didn't keep up with meme culture because I was so afraid of the world being on fire. <laughs> the world is on fire! <laughs> yeah, NBD, NBD, we're all gonna be fine. Next year will be better, right? Oh, Barrett made easier with the power bomb <laughs> again. So I'm gonna try and do as much of these legitimately as I can. But I might just say, fuck it. You get the idea. This isn't exactly uh, college level puzzles we're dealing with here. So, time stop makes that one easier? It's not exactly. Uh, well, the idea is you gotta shoot down that missile block, yeah. sl slow down time, to give yourself enough time to go underneath and up and over, drop down. But, the get but you were fine because the fan moved slower in slow motion. But I was fine because the power bomb took out that power bomb block that was being blocked by the fan, so I could just go right through. Oh. There's small details I'm missing on this itty bitty screen. That I, I, I know it's it's it's, good. it's it's bigger than the actual episode, but right now we're just looking at. Hey. <laughs> I mean, it's not that small. I can still see it thanks to 3ds capture being 
amazingly decent. But, uh, yeah, I, I kind of know how you're feeling now when you had to play through this. Because you and I, we both have huge hands. Yeah, big, big gorilla hands, because we're, we're, we're big old boys. And the only 3DS I was able to get modded was an original one. Made for small little baby hands. I think that's the only one that, can, that they, could, they could mod, even. They did have new Nintendo 3DS models. And then they were gone. <laughs> And I wish I could have gotten that, because Nintendo did their stupid-ass thing where only certain games were on new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, like what, three? Like three of them, yes. It's like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, or uh, Hyrule yeah. Warriors. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which, you know, you could get it for Wii U and or Switch, so why even bother? I think Fire Emblem Warriors was also on there. And that in the Super Nintendo games, but now everybody who has a Switch Online account has all that stuff on their Switch, so... Yep. And the thing is, I don't think they added, like, way too much extra content, either, for some of them. Yeah, between the three of us, uh, Yumi and Violet, Violet's the one who has the new Nintendo 3DS. I will say, adding the... the Amiibo scan feature onto the console itself was brilliant. Yeah. And then they stopped caring about Amiibos. Yeah, well, clearly not if they're still making them. No, oh, I have a theory on that. When you start something, you can't exactly just stop. So when Ultimate came out with new characters, they kind of had to continue the line. Well, they're still making Amiibos for, you know, other, you know all these, you know, Metroid Dread, okay, Monster Hunter that is very 2, true. you know, we still got plenty of other Amiibos coming out for other games. Didn't even think about that. So I don't think it's quite the, the, the toys to life craze that they were expecting, but it's not like it's not selling. I mean, it's still high demand. I actually love how they look now. Because when the first ones came out, they were kind of like, Oh, sweet. This figure looks... It looks like Mario. It looks like Donkey Kong. It looks great. But we recently got the Dread ones. They look fucking sweet. Yeah, I like the Dread ones. Like, really well made. Especially the Emmy one. Yeah! It's, like, it's like huge. It's like, is this even gonna fit on my Pro Controller to scan? It's it's amazing! And then when the Breath of the Wild ones came out, you had the... an actual Guardian Amiibo? That thing is huge! It's got all the, the tendril legs and <laughs> everything. I think this Nintendo likes the technology, and they've always got fun ideas, and people will buy them! Mm -hmm. I think they like toys, too. Well, they've always been a toy-like company. And I like that about them. They have this... This third eye when it comes to... What, Wait. What is fun. We, sh we shouldn't be talking good about Nintendo, because Nintendo is a corporation, they don't care about us. This fucking elevator pisses me off! That is mean. Down there is basically a, a, a wonderful shortcut to get to that item down there, but... You have to go the long way you around? You have to go the long way around! The really long way around! Oh, good lord. <sighs> You're jumping up and down in frustration. I mean, I knew about it, but I'm just like pointing out. It's like, th th this right here! <laughs> this here! Is the bait of my existence! Argle Fargle. There's always one room in every Metroid game that I'm like, oh god, this room. There is one in Metroid Dread, too. In Ugg, this room. Yeah. Hmm. You remember in Zero Mission, that kind of uh, vertical corridor that you had to go into another room and mm -hmm. high-speed death? That, that was my most hated room. I'm sure I got one here in, in uh, Samus Returns. There's just... There's so many rooms, though. Look at all the rooms. This is a, this is a big game. Uh, yeah, I'm noticing that. I don't think even Dread is this big. No. Nah. Like, Dread's itty bitty. But Dread's got way more, like, variety and detail and, uh... I think variety is a good word. A good way to explain Dread. Yeah. Because it's not the same three enemies in every area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's actually, like, stuff. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? Yeah, they're doing that. Yep, they're doing that. It's being done. So, we had to come back here when we had the phase shift, or the... the, the time stop thingy, whatever. Or we could just bomb spark the way through. I love it. 
you actually found cheese. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I assume. I've never skinned a cat before, but I assume there's more than one way. Oh. Then we could go up this elevator to remove that block, but now we've already got the thing, so we don't need to be here anymore! You don't want to unlock it? Nope! What about 100%? Because then we got to take the time to go up the elevator, which took about 20 seconds, and then remove the block and then go back down the elevator, because we got to keep going through here, which takes another 20 seconds. 100%. So it's like, what's the fucking point? 100% elevator run. Yeah, I think that's my most hated room, just because of how out of the way dickish it is. So, there's something I never realized since, uh, it's been a hot minute since I've played a Metroid game. The screw attack is ungodly OP. Why do you think it's one of the last things you get? I understand that. I always thought it was just a, a way to space jump without getting hurt. You can also charge and do like a, a mini screw attack type thing. I did know about that. But when I'm playing through Dread and realize, oh, awesome, I can kill like mini boss level enemies just by jumping into them. It's great. A lot of the quick kills for a lot of the bosses involves uh, the speed booster. I noticed that, yeah. I won't say which one, but just saying, totally called it, couldn't pull it off. <laughs> but I kind of figured that's what they were going for because, uh, yeah, that's a game made for the fans, all right. Made for speedrunners, too. I think this game will be talked about for quite some time because of that. No, I've already forgotten about it. Well, that's sad. Beat it once? <laughs> what Metroid Dread? I think that's how a lot of people felt for Samus Returns. Eh. Unfortunately. Just kind of beat it, and then it just left the collective mind. You cheese. Oh, I see what you're actually supposed to do in this, this yeah, puzzle, or, and this stupid. Or I could not, and then I didn't. And so he didn't. See, look at that. You're just barely grazing these guys, and they just disintegrate. Doesn't work for every enemy, though. No, but... Namely mechanical ones, it doesn't work still for. Still funny. What do you think the screw attack's made of? It might just be just some chip or whatever. You think so? Just some kind of chip that you just, you know, just insert into an SD card on your on your arm. Samus, I'm uploading the data. You are now able to use the screw attack. There should be something here way down there. There's gotta be... There's this down here, but yeah, hey, let's let's cheese some more. Boom! Here we go. So how did that cheese? Because I use a power bomb to blow up the, the bomb blocks. You were attached to the ceiling, weren't you? Yes. Okay, that's how. As long as I have the power, like th th those fans will still suck in power bombs, and we got ninety point five percent. What am I missing? Oh, there it is. I knew I should have gone forward. Mm -hmm. God damn it. <sighs> All right, all right. We're gonna do some backtracking. That's yeah. what these. That's what these are for. That's what these are for. These episodes are for backtracking and getting all the items. Why aren't the fans working on you anymore? Is it the gravity suit? They work on the bombs and the bombs only. I think. Oh. I think having a hard time understanding what the fans actually do. I think I am. The fans. Make it so that when you plant a bomb by the fan, it'll suck it in, and it won't work. But if I use a power bomb outside of the fan, it'll blow up those bombs anyway. See, I thought they were supposed to, like, mess you up when you're in ball form. No. They mess up your bombs. What was I thinking of? Something else. Probably an enemy in Dread, where they do that. Damn it, I was! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm getting my games mixed up! Oh, no, it's good, and that's all you can think of now! Fuck! I have other games to play! It's fine. <laughs> I still have it out just in case I want to go for 100%. I don't want to torture myself with puzzles. For Dread or Returns? Hmm. Both! Good uh -huh. question. Good question. Well, Dread's Dread's still my favorite. It's been two weeks since it came out. It's still my favorite game in the Metroid series. Well, thankfully, there's only, like, ten games. 
So, not a bad marketing script, uh, strategy. Wait a minute, hold on, let me count. So we got... Are, are, are we counting remakes? Let's count remakes as definitives. Okay, so we got Zero Mission, because mm -hmm. after all it is in the ending screen for Dread. Yep. And we got Metroid Samus Returns, mm -hmm. and we got Super, mm -hmm. and we got Fusion and Dread, that's mm -hmm. the main series, and we got Prime 1, 2, 3, are we counting Pinball on that? Uh, yes. Pinball. So, so Prime Pinball, uh, Other M, and Federation, Federation Force. Force. That's 11. Uh, Hunters. Oh shit, I forgot Hunters. Okay, well, so A 12. lot of people do, it's okay. Uh, so 12. 12 games. Dang. Not counting Blast Ball, I assume. What the hell's Blast Ball? The, it's, it's the, uh, standalone game from, uh, Federation Force. There's like a Rocket League type game for Federation Force. 95.2! What am I still missing? God damn it! <clears throat> anyway, there's like a... Oh, there's one. I thought I got that one! Nope. I missed it? How did I miss that? I thought I got that one! Nope. How did I... But I thought... What? But... All right, time to backtrack some right. more. Oh there. yeah, okay, is that there? I guess we'll go around there, and uh, you have a long way to uh, go. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Luckily, there's just a portal down here, and just a bit. anyway. So yeah, uh, Metroid Prime Blast Ball. It's basically the standalone uh, Rocket League-like ball game from Federation Force. Was that DLC only? Uh, eShop only. That's what- oh, sorry, that's what I meant. But, but, but yes, yes. I'm remembering how many standalone titles were for 3DS as accompaniment games for main titles. Like, Triple Deluxe has two side games. Mm-hmm. I think uh, both of those were their own standalone releases. They were. You ever played Kirby's Blowout Blast? No. It's like a three- it's a 3D Kirby puzzle game, almost. It's interesting. I would love that. I think it's going to be good practice for uh, Forgotten Lands. I like puzzles. Puzzles are good. By the way, Forgotten Lands, out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, you can expect that on the channel <laughs> at even, some point. I even called it, too. Seeing all those dilapidated buildings, I was like, wow, this would be really funny if I saw Kirby next. And <laughs> then he was face down in the sand. I thought it was Splatoon 3 shit. Oh, no. But nope, it's... Oh, a, a Kirby... Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Kirby's back. I'm a little worried that the camera is a lot like other M's. I don't know how that's gonna work, but hey, we'll find out. It should be fine. That yeah, should be fine. Is this Kirby's first 3D game? Uh... Like, uh, moving around in all directions 3D? Yes. 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 Except Blowout Blast. If you... Well, count. I mean, yeah, besides... But, ma but main title, yeah, this is the first one. Unless you count the final boss in Star Allies. That's true. God, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe Can't that's how they got the idea. Can't believe I missed that. It's ridiculous. It's, it's right there. It's too. fine. I think I, I think I was just eager to get get it done that day. Gotta get right, it done. Gotta there. get it done. Hundred <sighs> percent. Well, that feels pretty good. Yeah, that does feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. Got all these items and you know, look how strong we are. Look how strong Mama is, baby. Look at me. All right, moving on to area four next. Where oh, should we start? There's uh, one right next to you. Yeah, we'll start there. Welcome to area four next. <laughs> it's better than area four skin. Cock and ball torture. Or it's better than uh, having an area that I know what's going to happen already. Area foresight. Huh. You know? I think I want to meet up with Ness at Area Foreside. I've never played Earthbound. I played like 20 minutes of Earthbound for SNES, Mother 2. That was it. I've played enough to know that I'm missing out on a lot of fun. Mm. Well, speaking of fun to not miss out on, next time on Metroid Samus Returns. More backtracking and item collection. See you next time. Go back to sleep, baby. Mama's fine.